Hi, this is John with a quick uh, tutorial on how to send out a message on CityGrow. Just a, a basic message is all we're going to send today. Um, I'm logged into a demo account. As you see here, this is where your name would be once you log, once you log into your CityGrow account up here in the top right. So I'm just going to walk you through the few steps it takes to send out a message. Um, starting here on our dashboard, this is where we're going to see some analytics. We're going to move down to our campaign section. You might have a few more things on this left side. This is just a very basic account, but uh, go ahead and click on campaigns. This is going to bring up all the messages you've sent in the past. On this demo account we have one message here. There's a thank you message it looks like. So to create a new one, um, there's really two ways to do it. The first and easiest way is to come and hit this orange button that says new campaign. Once you click new campaign you'll be brought to this screen. This is, a, this is the message setup screen. There's five steps to a message as you'll see down here. Uh, the first step is, set, is telling us whether you want to send a text or an email. So if I click text, really the only thing that's going to change is number two here, which is content. It's going to show a text message, whereas if I click email, uh, it's going to show an uh, email editor here. So for this uh, demo, we're going to do a text message. We're just going to call it demo. Uh, don't worry about actions. They, they won't apply two basic messages. Uh, those are for upgraded accounts that want to uh, send offers and, and things like that with the message. But for a basic message, we're just going to give it a quick name. This name isn't going to be shown anywhere. Uh, it's it's going to be used for internal purposes only. So after I've sent you know, 50 messages, I might want to refer back to this. So you might put a date on there or give it a uh, maybe a, a, more of a name like demo. Maybe I was doing a promotion, 50% off uh, for the new year. So you can name it something that uh, will help you later in coming back and finding it. Uh, going into the content, this is just a live uh, preview of what we're going to be sending. So let's uh, let's type in our message. 50% um, off all week for the new year. Now you can get a lot more creative than that. By default, it's going to force you to have your, your business name uh, in the front of your message. If you put that within the message... For example, CG demo. It'll take it out of the front. We just want to make sure it's there some somewhere so that somebody who gets a, receives a message uh, isn't wondering where it came from. So by default, it'll go at the beginning. If not, it'll go here. Um, you can also change this in your settings. Uh, we call it a short name. Um, we'll, after I get through these five steps, we'll go back real quickly and show you where to do that. But if you have a really long business name, you might consider uh, putting a short name in there so that you don't have to take up as many characters. As you can see here, it only allows you so many characters in a text message or else it's going to start sending multiple messages. So, um, so, so that's how we make sure there's a name in there. Uh, we highly recommend you always send yourself a test message. That'll go to the phone number who's logged in. So make sure you send yourself a text message by pressing there. Then uh, you can also add a smart text. This is if you have, for example, a first name with uh, with every contact. You could say you could insert first name. Let's say if they don't have one, we're going to put there. So uh, I'll, I'll show you how that's used. So first name. If I were to put like hey. And then this is your smart text we just created. So if it has a first name, it would say, hey, John. If it doesn't have a first name, it would just say, hey, there. You don't have to use smart text. It's just if you want to use it. Um, otherwise, you can remove it. And once you have your message set up just the way you want it, you move forward to recipients. By default, it's just going to include everyone in our system. So in this uh, demo account, we've got 50 phone numbers. You can add rules such as... Uh, when the last time they came in is and whatnot. Um, most of this has to do with upgraded accounts. So for a basic account, you're really just sending to everyone. So you just leave that as is. Make sure it has roughly the amount of people here that are opted in. Um, if you see a different number here than you have contacts in your network, it's probably because they're not opted in, which I, which we need to make sure they're <clears throat> all being opted in when they get in the system. So by default, this will send to every capable person in your network. Uh, schedule, it's going to be right now for most accounts. Um, you can schedule out in the future on upgraded accounts, but for all intents and purposes right now. There's a button here that says allow this message to be sent outside of normal delivery hours. Um, 
if you need your message to go out late at night or early in the morning, which there's really uh, few circumstances which you will, you'll need to uh, select that button. Otherwise, if I try to get on here at midnight, it's going to go out at about 9 in the morning, uh, mountain time. So make sure you click that uh, click that button if you're sending it out really early for some reason or really late. But uh, obviously there's some cautions that go with that. So uh, also if your account's not set up to send on Sundays, you'll need to click that to send out on a Sunday. So it's never a bad idea to click that if you for sure want it to go out at the time that you're sending. Um, otherwise, I believe it's nine to nine, uh, nine a.m. to nine p.m. are normal delivery hours anything outside of that make sure you click that box and then finally we're going to confirm it uh, on the confirmation page it'll show you what your message looks like over here and then just a few of the things that you've already selected how many recipients when it's scheduled to go out that kind of thing um, it'll remind you to send a test message which again is a great idea once everything looks good you'll hit send on large messages it'll ask you to um, to confirm how many it's going out to, I think it's over a thousand, but it's on on a messages with uh, recipients over a thousand or so. Uh, but outside of that, you hit send and it's on its way. So uh, pretty easy to do. I'm gonna exit out of there, not send one. Let's cut back real quick to where I told you you can change your short name. If you come up here and click on your business name and go to settings, you're gonna see short name right here. So. Um, Let's say you you had a store called CG Demo America, and that was a little bit long. You could put CG Demo, and now it only required that. So, or sorry, wrong box. CG Demo. So whatever you put here is going to be required in a text message. Uh, so if, if it's too long, put it here. And that wraps it up for this quick uh, quick tutorial. We'll uh, look forward to seeing the messages go out.